guys, Crescent Moon. I got my swap box from Cora Moonrite today. And I wanted to um, do my Yule Swap uh, unboxing, although, hello Olive, the box has already been opened. <laughs> Cause um, I didn't know who it was. <laughs> anyway, I know who it is now. <laughs> she sent me um, a nice little card. Here's the card. It's really pretty, and I love the plaid. I love that. I like Christmassy colors on plaid, but that's about it. Otherwise, I'm not a huge plaid fan. But um, she wrote me a note on this piece of paper, which I won't show you, but I have read through it. And um, that's as far as I got once I realized what it was. Because <laughs> I'm kind of a nitwit. But um, this will be going in my book. I have a book, and I'll probably do a thing on it later of where people have sent me stuff and they put notes or cards and I keep them all in a like a scrapbook and I'm not a huge scrapbooker so but this is I like I like to keep these anytime somebody sends me a nice little note or a card I want to I want to keep it so that's what I'm going to do with that she's going to go right in front of Hecate right now okay so we did Yule Swaps, me and Cora, and um, part, uh, part of our group, one of the groups we're in, and we pulled names. Well, last time my swap partner was Nathan, and that was a trip. That was awesome. And I'm sure most of y'all have watched that one. Um, and this time, I, me and Cora are swapping. And her, I have not mailed hers out yet, and I'm glad, because I'm going to redo some stuff. <laughs> But she was so sweet. She got my she got my dog some tweets. <laughs> I love that. That was the first thing that I saw. Everything else is like completely wrapped. Like without knocking anything over. It's all nice and pretty. I totally gotta up my swap game. Alright, so and I'm keeping this burlap reindeer ribbon because it's freaking awesome. I can do a lot with that gonna play a part in some other stuff so, and my husband is in here but he's down over there on the floor so he's doing his own thing right now and the dog is in here and one of the cats is in here if not both of them I think the kitten's in here too there's just no, no telling um, this I don't, I don't know she oh I need to keep that out for reference um, I'm also cooking dinner, but the meat is cooking and the rice is cooking. We're having homemade stroganoff tonight. I'm gonna leave this note out for reference because there was some stuff in there. Oh, wow. Love bubble wrap. The bigger, the better. Uh, okay, so the, ooh, the first thing is an ornamental piece. That is freaking awesome. Like, holy moly, look at that thing. I, I, I am gonna enchant the mess out of this. It's gonna go on the Christmas tree, but then it's gonna go somewhere else. I love this. And I have never seen one of these before. I'm going to have to do some research on the sides. This is, uh, that is way freaking cool. Okay. I have plans for that little doodad. I like that. Uh-uh. See? what I tell you? what I tell you? Get, go. Go. Shoo. The husband's worried about being in the video. And then here comes the daggum cat from hell. I'm telling you, you've heard of hell hounds? I got a hell cat. A hell feline. She's just a mess. And she's still up here. And you're putting your damn tail in my coffee. Minerva, I swear. Go on. Alright. This might be happening. Get the... Go. Yeah. Yeah, you're interrupting. Oh, don't worry. There you go. All right. The next thing, which something popped off of it. I got a lollipop. 
I love peppermint, so that's awesome. I got candy. I'm gonna put this down here. Okay, so this is huge. Humongous. More of this, and this is really pretty. Look at that. I love these swaps. Cause you get the coolest, well, I assume everybody gets cool stuff. I get cool stuff. I'm assuming everybody else gets cool stuff. Too. So, at least I think it's cool. You know, whatever. And, this, I don't know what this is. It's huge. Over there. Holy macaroni. What? Girlfriend. I got a giant mug. And it's Christmassy. It's got holly on it. Look at that. That's cool. I like that. It's <laughs> right up my alley. Mm. You like me? You like me? Okay, there's a couple little ones, so we'll do that. And again, with this neat little ribbon. I love this. I love ribbon. I'm going to put this on a couple things. Because it's it seems to be a thing. So, because <laughs> it's Christmas. <laughs> uh, I'm slightly scatterbrained because I've been at work all day. So, forgive me. Um just nutty and you know there's just a lot going on right when you get off work so and it's raining and I know we need the rain desperately I really you know I wish however that it could bypass and just go where like the fires are and dump it be done <laughs> just we'll get it later <laughs> I like warm rain. I'm not a huge fan of cold rain. It's just not my thing. I just don't like it. What is it? Okay, so it was all wrapped up and pretty as y'all saw me sit here and Ooh. It is a organza bag with stones. I like stones. I love stones. Oh, look at that. Okay, came in here. Oh, a Labradite heart. Oh. Look at the flash on that puppy. What? Okay, well, I, I said that, and then I couldn't. There it goes. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. That might be my new pocket stone. Because I keep... I haven't emptied my pockets because I'm still in my work clothes. I have a piece of Sh Shugnite from Raven that I keep. And this little divot right here, I don't know if you can see it, a little dip. It's perfect for my thumb because I have little thumbs. I just rub my thumb on it all day when I get aggravated. And then in the other pocket, also from Raven, in a different box, uh, she got me a palm stone of amethyst. And I, I keep that in my pocket too. Those are my... Oh my, give this little puppy a try. I can't give up my um, amethyst, but Labradite is one of my favorites, and I have several pieces. She's she's gifted me a couple pieces, and then I just ordered, um, no, I didn't order that. That wasn't Labradite. That was my egg, and then I, but I have a couple other pieces of this. Oh, here it was. Duh. My uh, pinnacle is... Labradite also and with a garnet. I'm so happy. Okay, so I'm gonna put that over here with my my egg baby over here. And she gave me a piece of selenite. I love selenite. I have selenite all over the house at this point. Just as much as I have everything else. Well, no, that's not true. I have amethyst. A lot of amethyst all over the house and there's actually two pieces on this one tray and this tray came from a box Nicole sent me that I didn't do the unboxing on because I started putting stuff in stuff and I just lost track of every I got everything everywhere now so and this looks like Jasper 
No, this is garnet and limestone. Ooh, okay. Look at that. I believe that's what piece this is. Ugh. That is the first piece of this that I have. And I always need rose quartz. I just said something about being out of rose quartz, so that's awesome. This might have to be a two-parter because I'm at ten minutes, and I still have two things to open. Maybe not. It might be okay. It'll just take forever to load, and I don't really care. So I think it's worth it. I love doing these. I really do. I really, really do. I like the time it takes to think about people and put stuff together. Although, in, do it, in getting hers, I realized I didn't Christmas wrap anything. I just wrapped stuff. So, I'm probably going to go through and rewrap. Because, <laughs> you know, I don't know what I was thinking. Holy, these holidays keep flying by. It's like, blah, 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 October, <laughs> New Year. It's a mess. What is this? What? Coffee spoons? Sea salt and caramel coffee spoons. I'm probably only going to get one of these because I had one sign is just a nut about sea salt and caramel. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> like I need any more sugar in my coffee. Yes, please. <laughs> Can't get enough. I love it. And it's going to go great in my mug. Look, dude, it's huge. Like, I can't even explain. And I have small hands, so that's not really a good indicator, but it's okay. It's the size of my head. <sighs> okay, that makes me happy. Okay, I think this is the last thing. Okay. Yes, I do believe so. So I might stay under that 15 minute mark. More ribbon. And my face is red because I inhaled some pepper a minute ago in the kitchen when I was seasoning my dinner. Oh, and the freaking sinuses. So I sneezed for like, I don't know, five solid minutes and having a connection in the kitchen. What is this? Okay, this, uh, mm, okay. Happy Yuletide Simmering Potpourri. Ooh. Handcrafted at the Robin's Nest. So this is all of them. It's in a jar. Hello. Love jars. And I got fabric. Look at that. And then there's the... Please focus. Thank you. And there you go. Alright, so I'm going to open it up. Because it's potpourri, which means it's got good smell of stuff. read the card. Oops. Oh, oh, oh. Potpourri down. Potpourri down. Oh, that smells like Christmas. Okay. Add water and herbs together over low heat. When it begins to simmer, speak, oh, speak the spell. That's fine. Speak the spell over the herb, stirring as you do. Once done, reduce heat to low. Add water as necessary. Give the herbs back to earth when done with them. Giving thanks for their blessings. Ooh, and it's got the spell. That's awesome. Yuletide simmering potpourri. Love, <laughs> cinnamon, Lemon, orange, cedar, clove, totally smelled that. Juniper berry, cardamom, I don't know how to say that. It looks like cardamom, cardamom, and ginger, which I see the gin. I actually see all those. And it's got actual, oh no, that's cedar, okay. That is really cool looking. Oh, dude, that is freaking awesome. My mom used to have potpourri all the time, and I've never used any. So, that'll be a first for me. I like that. And I got to sneeze again, so I'm going to cut this off and make it. Okay, whatever. Y'all have a good night. Bye.